Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to Pedophilos of Videos. Today I have for you the introduction and first look into Project Hospital. It is a tycoon game based on building and managing a hospital and all of its staff. I would like to thank the developers and publisher Oxymoron Games for sending me a copy of this game so I can show it off to you. One of the fundamental differences in this game compared to the other tycoon games is that you can have a much more of a hands-on approach when it comes to actual work your employees do. You're giving the option, because it can be automated as well, to directly command your doctor's actions as they diagnose, treat and heal the sick who come to your hospital. But more on that a little bit later. The game features a tutorial and three different game modes. One of them is the campaign mode that will put you in the shoes of a crisis manager trying to save a few hospitals which are in critical state. Each hospital you take over as its manager is already set up and working, but it has problems and issues that you'd have to resolve. After a brief but very good tutorial, this is where you'll learn the nuances of this game. It can be a bit overwhelming to just jump straight into a large hospital with dozens of staff and several different departments, something I will talk about a little bit later on, but the gameplay has a well-made difficulty curve that heats up as you play along, so you have time to learn the layout and the staff of your new hospital, before you reach the harder objectives and goals. Nevertheless, it's really rare to see a tycoon game that starts off the campaign with a large and complicated setup like this. While some players might be put off at first because of this complexity, from personal experience I can tell you that spending time to get familiar with the starting hospital will pay off due to interesting gameplay and well thought out of objectives. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and leave a comment about what would you like to see more of on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Next mod I want to talk about is the sandbox mode, which offers endless hours of content, building anything from a small clinic to a huge multi-story hospital. You can start from scratch or in one of the pre-built hospitals or clinics in case you want to jump straight into the management. An additional gameplay mechanic is that you can run your own ambulance service and help handle events and emergencies. Events can be anything from an outbreak of a deadly disease to a mass brawl at a local game, which results in a large number of patients being brought in which you need to treat, but they threaten to overwhelm your hospital's capacity. It takes a capable manager and an army of well-trained and educated hospital staff, which include doctors, nurses, technicians and so on, to deal with these emergencies. For those who want a more scripted and specific challenge, there are the challenge level game modes, which will test your skills and let you focus on the intricate details of individual specialized departments. So what are the departments? Your hospital can house different specialized departments dedicated to individual medical problems. These specialized departments require separate rooms and offices as well as specialized staff. Each department builds off the patient's needs and your requirements for diagnosis and treatment. For example, you might have an emergency department to quickly treat an injured patient whose leg is broken. But to further diagnose that patient, you need the specialized equipment of a radiology department. To keep the patient after the initial treatment, you need an intensive care unit. If you want to fix the broken leg and heal the other injuries, you need to operate on him in an orthopedics department. Other patients may come into the general or internal medicine department for diagnosis and complicated surgery or they might need a treatment in the cardiology or neurology department depending on their medical condition. Each department, besides the medical staff, needs a janitor to clean all the blood and other bodily fluids on the floors and keep the hospital clean and tidy. Besides the room for staff to work in, they also require rooms in which they will wait for their calls, or rooms in which they will take a break or rest. Each of these things are necessary because your staff has needs, which can be watched for on their employee cards and meeting these needs makes for better staff performance. Employing staff with higher performance in various tasks, skills in other words, is expensive if you want an already trained doctor or nurse. But employing young and inexperienced staff is much cheaper, but you have to learn as they work, which can lead to some time wasting and mistakes. These mistakes will lower patient satisfaction and in turn lower your hospital's rating. This rating is what decides which insurance companies will send their insurance users their patients and the amount of money you can earn from those patients. Additional things that can increase the rating of your hospital is for example reducing the wait times, making more beautiful rooms by adding flowers in the waiting rooms for example. Building up your hospital can be a very fun experience due to a large amount of designs for walls, floors, doors, windows and many different kinds of shapes for furniture and medical instruments and equipment. 
Graphically, the game is very detailed with an art style fitting a cool tycoon game like this one is. It's not a full 3D but a rotational 2D which is in line with the low requirements and good performance. Music is non-repeating and fits very well with this type of game. Sounds are satisfactory and give good feedback when using the UI and playing this game. I have found this game to be a very entertaining experience that is both hard but tempered with good guidance and interesting because of its depth and gameplay mechanics. A simple free tip I would give you is to always make sure that one of your more experienced doctors is a head of a department and preferably one with a good boss trait. If you would like to see more introduction and first look videos about lots of different games, there is a card for that playlist at the end and well as in the description of this video. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more videos.